Hi everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and today I'm just making a card using just cup, just three different shapes from um, two different cartridges. I have a square here from George and Basic Shapes and then I have the stocking image here which is from um, Very Merry Tags and all I did was is I used the um, sh shadow feature which is the uh, bottom one on the bottom right here and I don't have my stylus right here but basically what I did was I just added that to my mat and then use the hide contour feature to hide the little um, circle that's up in the corner here that you would use to tie you know for your stocking when you um, hang it up and then I used a um, square from Georgian Base Basic Shapes which is about five and a half by five and a half inches and I just centered my um, stocking shape right in the center of that and then I also used a tag from Very Merry Tags and I used um, this one right here and I just have that one cut out at two inches. So um, my stocking is, uh, let's see if I can select it. It might be a little hard for me to select. I'm not exactly sure the exact shape of my stocking, but um, I just have it, like I said, centered right in there, and I went ahead and cut that out. So let me show you how I'm gonna put my card together. So this is the image that I cut out um, using the Very Merry Tags and George uh, cartridge. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just take a white gel pen, and I'm using a Sakura white uh, gel roll pen. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do stitching lines right around the outside of my square, and then also around the shape of my stocking. Okay, so that's the stitching lines around my stocking. And then what I did was I took another piece of pattern paper and I just cut it a bit, about a quarter of an inch smaller than my um, outside piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and add some, um, just some pop dots to the back. And it, this is gonna take quite a few because it is pretty, pretty big piece. So I think what I'll do is take the edges from my dimensionals and use that. So now what I'm going to do is just lay this right on top of my pattern paper, just making sure that none of it's sticking out on the sides. Just like that. So now for my card base, my card is actually going to measure five and a half by five and a half, and um, I know it costs a little bit more to mail these because it's a square card and they do charge extra postage, but um, this is going to be hand delivered, so I'm not going to uh, worry about it. It's a great opportunity for me to play with cards of different shapes. So this one is just by card base and this measures five and a half like I said five and a half by five and a half so it is eleven by five and a half scored at the five and a half inch mark and my piece here will go right on top of that now this might not be exactly perfect because I did you know cut this out of my gypsy and even though I did say five and a half by five and a half it does have a little bit of an overlap on the side but I'll just trim that off with my paper trimmer so before I adhere this to my um, card base. I'm just going to do a little stamping on the tag that I cut out and I'm using Merry and Bright and this was one piece um, stamp. It's from Paper Tray Ink but I just cut it so that I could do Merry and Bright in one piece or er, in uh, two lines on my tag. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use my little embossing buddy here to Put onto my tag there and that just prevents the embossing powder to from sticking on anything other than my um, my versa mark here. So I'm going to start off by stamping the and bright first and I'm going to stamp that right down towards the bottom. And then I'll go ahead and do Mary. right up above that, just like that. And then I'm gonna take some white embossing powder. And I forgot to bring my little spoon with me to do this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this right in. And 
and then I'll go ahead and heat emboss that. Okay, so I went ahead and stamped my image and then heat embossed it. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of baker's twine and just tie a bow right at the top of my card or my tag. look just like that and then I'm just going to trim the tails off here and I'll trim them a little bit more once I have that adhered onto my card. I just want to make sure I'm not leaving it too too big or small. So I'm going to add another dimensional to the back of this. And then I'll adhere this right to the side. And then I'll just fiddle with my bow a little bit more. So just like that. And then I'll take my um, ATG gun and adhere this down to my card base. That'll get centered right onto my card base. And that's my card for today. Thanks for watching another episode, and I'll see you next time.